Hey beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to stop by and see a tag on Tag Tuesday. I am horrible about doing tags on Tag Tuesday. Not that anybody really cares, I don't think. It's just Sunday and Monday are usually 10 to 12 hour work days, so like trying to film and have something ready on Tuesday just tends to be a challenge. But this one was inspired by a video that Criminali put out and then MJ at Reading This Life made into this tag. And I don't think I was tagged specifically by anybody, but that's okay. I just saw a number of people doing it and I said, I like this because it really got me thinking about it and wondering if I was just a little unique because most of the questions actually I'm not very particular about at all. Uh, number one is, is there a perfect format and honestly I like physical books I do not read digital at all I listen to some audio occasionally on a rare occasion but it has to be a physical book for me so I, I guess if I'm pressed between hard copy and soft copy I prefer paperback just because it travels better and it's lighter weight but I like hardbacks too <laughs> Number two is the number of pages in a perfect book. And I love chunker books. I love short, quick reads that make me feel like I got through something. As long as I feel like the story was complete. Uh, maybe if I'm pressed again for an answer, it would be around the 300 page. But I struggle with that because most of my favorite books are over 500. The favorite font, which is funny because when I hear people talking about this, like, I don't even know what the fonts are. It's like, as long as I can read it, I'm good to go. It's just a teeny, teeny font that is less pleasing, but I don't have a favorite. I don't check. Oh, I skipped number three, where the page numbers are located. I wanna know what page I'm on, but I don't care if it's at the top or the bottom or the corner or the side or, and I do get a little angsty if there's a bunch of blank pages, that's kind of, annoying when I'm trying to find the page number and then I'm like why are there all these blank pages I don't I don't I don't I don't get I'm, I mean I get why sometimes but I don't like it uh, margins do the margins matter nope I mean when I was in school and I needed margins to take notes then it mattered but nope any other unique features in a perfect book so the only thing that would be another unique feature that is perfect is when there are genealogies, when there are graphs, charts, maps, all that kind of stuff. It adds a geeky element that I totally spend time looking at it. If it's a date chart, chronological chart, or character listing, I put a bookmark there and will flip to it often. If it's a map that you know, there's a grand adventure, I will put a specific bookmark there and I will go back and I'll look at it as I'm reading the story. I love that, that it doesn't have to be part of the perfect book, but I love that. And then the covers, number seven. So I'm also not total, I love covers. I love bookstores. I love going and just looking at books and I would be more hard pressed to figure out which covers I don't like because I like simple. I like really elaborate. Uh, the book I am currently reading is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and this cover is a perfect cover to me. I love that you could tell by the font that it's 80s kind of gaming throwback. I am about halfway done so this wave is very significant to the storyline um, love the colors love everything about that and then my very favorite books that I will be doing a whole entire video showing my collection is the penguin cloth bound these are the perfect editions and books so this is Don Quixote love this it is the cloth with the ink on top isn't that beautiful it's just gorgeous gorgeous colors so I will be sharing my collection I have collected over the halfway point now so I will be doing a video where I will show all those off because I think there are some other people out there that love them just as much as me yeah so I am going to tag a few other people I wanted to tag some people that I have been buddy reading and spending some time with. So Michelle at Books Cause Insomnia 
wonderful friend and channel and does great reviews. I will put the tags and links to all these channels below. Lisa in Bookland. I just met Ray, um, Ray of Sunlight. This is a new channel to me and it is great. I'm so glad to find it. So looking for some newer ones to follow that you don't know her, check that out. Um, and then the last one I wanted to tag was Jolene from Bookworm Adventure Girl. We had just done a recent buddy read. Take care y'all, have an awesome day. Happy Tuesday.